I want to talk about something that is going to help you because it helps me. Sometimes people don't think right. Sometimes people, they may ask for help and let's say that someone really irritates you and you know that it is a sin to be really sassy with a person. Just telling a person off, being really rude to a person, it is bad to respond to a person in anger. I don't know if that is a sin to respond to a person in anger, but it is bad. So to avoid all of that, because eventually you are going to have to be in a situation where you are going to have to deal with a person and you are going to have to, have to help that person because that person may not think right. So sometimes you have to pay for the mistakes of other people. And that may really, really irritate you. And you may have to intervene in their situation. So what you can do to avoid from getting really, really mad or responding to a person in anger or irritation, what you can do is pray. Some people believe that you can only pray, you can only pray while you are on your knees and have your eyes closed and have your hands like this and stuff like that. No. Most of my prayers or most of the time when I pray is while I am doing things either for myself or for other people. And I find that when you have your mind on God, even if you are getting really, really irritated, that helps to calm you down. It really calmed me down. Take your mind off what you have to do or what you have to deal with and focus on praying to God, speaking to God interceding for other people, praying for other people. That is really going to calm you down. It worked for me. Perhaps I was doing something for about maybe an hour or so, two hours, something like that. And I was praying the whole time. And when I looked at my phone, it really didn't feel like two hours. <laughs> I was praying for about two or more hours and it really did not feel that long because my mind was focused on God and not with what was irritating me. Was I still irritated? Some, but not as much as I would have been. I pray that makes sense there. So pray in your mind. Tell God how you feel. God, I am really feeling irritated because this person over here is doing that and doing this. I don't know why this person is doing this. Maybe blah, 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 blah. Talk to God as if he is an other person sitting right by you. Some people say that they don't know how to pray. When you pray, 
you are just having a conversation with God. If you were to call me, you would tell me this and that. Okay, you would do the same thing for God as well. Talk to God as if you are talking to me or anyone else. Have a normal conversation with him. I pray that that makes sense there. So I was praying for... <laughs> there is maybe two or three main people that I pray for the most. And I pray for others as they come to my mind. But there is about three main people that I really focus my prayers on. So I was focusing my prayers on them and I was praying, you know, I was telling God, I thank him for doing everything he has been doing for me. Just conversating with him. That's it. And you can do this at work as well. I know that there are some people when they go to work, they always are mad <laughs> or they are irritated. What you can do is pray while you are at work. You can pray in your mind. You don't have to speak out loud. God, thank you for everything you have done. No, you can say it in your mind. And if you do that, man, you can pray for two hours easy. Two hours would not be a thing. Then you can push yourself way up to three, four, five hours. Now, there are times when I get down on my knees and pray, but most of the time I am doing chores and stuff like that. So this is one great way to cut down on your irritation. And I know that there are many, many, many people that get irritated so much. So I pray that this makes sense. Let me say something, and this is going to be on another topic. I was talking to someone and they were saying that this particular person went over someone's house and at this person's home, they know about God, but they just don't want to serve God. So when you knowingly disobey God, you have to know that demons are going to reign at that person's house. So this particular person told me that this other person went there and that person that went over that other person's home, let me make it real easy. Person A went over person's B house and person A, I don't know how long that person A was there but person A was really freaking out. What I found out that person A received a demon, <laughs> received a demon by going over person B's house. <clears throat> this is why I tell people, you can't go over everyone's home especially if you are not serving God. You are opening yourself for demonic attack. So person A got demonically attacked, got a demon within them by going over a person's home. I don't know what happened there, but person A went to person B home and caught a demon. This is why I tell you all to separate yourself from sinners. 
You can't go over everyone's home. You can't be everyone's friend. You can't do anything that you want. Demons are real. They are not playing around. They play for keeps. This is why I am very careful to a particular point of who I talk to. I don't talk to everyone. <laughs> I want to see what you are about first before I give you my time. Because everyone's heart is not right. Some people may say that they want help, but in truth, they want to curse you. <laughs> I know that I am covered, but I am not going to stick my hand in a beehive. That would make no sense. <laughs> I am covered by God, but let me do something stupid. <laughs> oh, it hurts. <laughs> I got stung. No. So you can't go, you can't be everyone's friend. So cut people off. Even if you were friends with them for 80 years, if you know that they don't want anything to do with God, cut them off. You have to, unless you are going to tell them about God. You can't be everyone's friend. You can't be, now you can be friendly with people. You can give people things and presents and stuff like that. But to stay around them while they are doing their sins, that is foolish. That is foolish. Even when it comes down to marrying a man or a woman, you are, let me choose my words right. Let me say it straight because I don't know how to beat around the bush. It would be foolish to marry a person in sin if you are serving God. I don't care how pretty she looks. I don't care how handsome that guy is. I don't care how much money that woman has or how much money that man has. If you are marrying a person that is in sin, something is not right up here because things may be okay right now, but you have to know if a person doesn't want to serve God, they are under the influence of demons. Think about that. They may be doing okay now, but what is going to happen when you get married? Do you believe that a sinful person is going to do right by you if you get married to them? It's not going to happen. They have demons within them. There is no good thing in a demon, but you expect a demon-filled person to do right by you in marriage. Makes no sense. If anything, find a person who really serves God. Yes, that person may not be as handsome. Yes, that woman may not be as pretty. Yes, she may not you know, have big breasts and a big old butt and stuff like that. If she is serving God, if he is serving God, that is what you want. Because how much are you going to enjoy the money or the, the big body and stuff like that? You are not going to enjoy it for too long because their personality is going to be hurting you. It is going to hurt you. Think about that. Stop looking at dumb things and marrying a person based upon those dumb things. Yes, I want money too, but I am not going to marry a woman that has a lot of money. But then I find out that 
she does not serve God, I don't care how much money you have. If you are not serving God, I know that any anything can happen at that home if a person is not serving God. I don't like demons. I don't. I don't like being around with demons. I don't like entertaining demon-filled people. You can give me all the money, but if I have to deal with a demon-filled person every day, and that money is not worth it. As people say, money does not bring you happiness. And many people are finding this to be true, but they had to learn it the hard way. So don't be superficial. Well, you can be if you want to, but you are going to pay for it. You are going to pay for ignorance. I know that firsthand. <laughs> okay, I am all over the place here. I pray that everything that I have spoke about makes sense. And hopefully you learned something because perhaps your mother and father have not taught you this. Perhaps they were not in your life. So you continue to make foolish mistakes. But hey, Uncle Cav is right here. So you can ask me. Okay. God bless.